piece of paper out and I wrote down a list and I wrote numbers 1 through 15. I, just, I had to narrow it down to that somehow and I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but the first song I filled in I, right away, I just I, number one was this song and it's, uh, it's If I Could Only Fly. And uh, not only did Merle Haggard do it as a duet with Willie Nelson, but then he uh, recorded it again later uh, and, and titled it an album. If I Could Only Fly, and he said it was the best country song he'd uh, heard in 25 years, and I think I think Merle knows a thing about country songs or two, so, uh, so this is If I Could Only Fly. Almost felt you touching I knew which way to turn and go I feel so good that I feel so bad Wonder what I this place goodbye to come and be with you but I can hardly stand got no word wrong another same concern Wind keeps blowing somewhere every day. Tell me things get better somewhere up the way. Just as more thinking on a dismal. Sad songs for us to bear If I could only fly If I could only fly If I could only fly, I, could only fly. I could be with you You know, sometimes I write happy songs And then sometimes little things are wrong You know, I wish they all could make you smile Coming home soon and I want to stay Maybe someday we can get away I wish you could come with me When I go again If I could only fly If 
If I could only fly I'd bid this place goodbye To come and be with you But I can hardly stand Got no Another sinking sun One more lonely night If I could only fly If you could only fly If we could only There'll be no more lonely nights Thanks. Well, uh, let me just When I met Blaze, it was, um, I think it was 1976 or 1977, and he, I was playing a gig in, in Austin, and uh, he came up to me in between songs, and he wanted to show me this guitar that he had in a case, and I was thinking, who's this big weirdo, you know, and, and uh, can we talk on a break, and he said, okay, and I went over there and started talking to him on a break, and I found out that I liked him, he was funny, and uh, we just kind of hit it off, and then... Um, he explained to me that he had a gig coming up in a few days. It was his first gig ever in Austin. And would I come to it, and, and would I bring a bunch of people? I said, well, I'll, I'll see. Where's your gig? And, and he, he told me that it was in a disco. It was a happy hour set in a disco, which is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life for, for a guy like him. But, but I gathered up some people and went to this gig in this disco, and... Uh, and we sort of gathered around him, and uh, and he played these songs, and he played these tender love songs that were so great, and he played these sad, sad heartbreak songs that were so sad they would make me cry, and uh, and he played a bunch of funny songs, and he, he had a, a valise, he had an old leather valise with him, and he would reach into that thing, and it was full of pictures and toys and stuff, and he'd pull out a picture of somebody, and go, oh, I wrote a song about her, and he'd pass the picture around while he was singing the song about this person, and... He turned into this kind of show and tell thing, and I've never seen anything like it. Uh, and I just I fell in love with his whole uh, his music and his and his whole persona right then. And uh, and he played this next song that day. He as I said, he played a bunch of funny songs, and I thought this song was was pretty funny. And I asked him about it after the set. I wanted to know more, and he explained to me that he wrote this song um, because he was standing by the side of the road hitchhiking one day, and he's kind of a big, scary-looking, long-haired hippie cowboy guy, and. Uh, got a guitar case, and there was a line of cars going by, and, and no one was stopping to pick him up. And uh, for whatever reason, up the road, the line of cars starts slowing down, and, and then the line of cars came to a stop, and there's a car stopped right by where Blaze is standing. He's standing right by the passenger side door, and uh, in that car was a, a white-haired woman by herself, and uh, she looked over, and she sees this big galoot standing there, and she got scared, and... While looking him in the eye, she reached over and locked her door. And Blaze kind of took exception to that. So uh, he told me when he got where he was going, he got his guitar out and wrote a song for her. It's called Wouldn't That Be Nice. Yeah. Lock your door, lady, or I'll jump in your car. I know you know how nasty we are. I'll poke out your eyeballs and make you a scar. Make you have to walk real far. I'll mess up your hair to set on your face. Scatter your makeup all over the place. Take all your money and kidnap your kids. I'll take all your money and buy me some lids. Then I'll call up your husband, tell him you're dead. Take out your tonsils and make you give a head. Let all the air out of all of your tires. Take out your molars with needle nose pliers. Make you do everything you don't want to do. I'll buy me some earthworms, smear them on you. Put your fat head in a rusty old eyes. Yeah, wouldn't that be 